right, we're live. Okay, I've got one viewer, which is me right now. Uh, but for post posterity, this is um, building a live sh a streaming site like HBO Now. Uh, I had this idea to build a site and um, I wanted to stream the process of building it. Um, the idea is actually not super complicated and hopefully um, and the, the point is for it to be kind of a parody like just for fun but um, hopefully we'll get uh, cease desisted by Warner Media um, but it's something I want to do just for because I've, I've done a few streaming sites now and I want to do one and I want to see if I can build HBO now just off of its screenshots. So something fun. I'll pull this up real quick. Yep, I have a new Chrome tab. So if we'll look right here, we've got these uh, here we go, UI photos that I set up. So these are um, kind of some screenshots of HBO Max that, that people have shared. Um, and uh, the idea that I want to do is to go through and build the streaming site based off of just these screenshots. So I've set up this Kanban. Uh, you can find this in the description if you want. Um, it's public and it's just kind of my to-do list that I have at this point of the project. And so I guess let's start off, let's just make a GitHub repo. I'm going to pull up, let me see if I can pull up. I've got the stream right here. Okay. So, um, I want to do a new repo. And I'm just going to call this, we're just going to call this UMAX. Because um, it's HBO Max powered by. Um, YouTube videos, but also we're gonna the goal is to put in some other YouTube videos, um, but with a custom player. So we're styling it similar to HBO. Let me check my camera, and make sure I'm looking good. Okay, that looks good. Okay, cool. So let's look at this iPad. Okay, that's really cool, cool. Oh man, that's real bright. Go on live tools, your view dashboard, do that. Yeah. I want to cut the audio so I don't hear myself. Um, I guess I just turn down the volume on the iPad. Okay. There we go. So. Um, yeah. Do a streaming platform built for fun. All right, public, and I also want to. So we'll create the repository. And then let's add it to the links for stream description later on. Um, I need to I need to put in uh, these, these links are showing up as markdown in the, in the stream description which it doesn't know how to parse. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to build a Where's my, come on, where's my doc? Here we go. Um, so we're just gonna make a new directory. Call it UD, Umax. Cool, C, Umax. Open this up in code. 
And this is the way I like to set this up, so that way I can swipe in between them. All right, brand new directory. So I want to I want to start with this as a gridsum site. Gridsum, they say you shouldn't use it in production. Um, but since this is a site for fun, I figured it'd be okay for this this purpose. Okay, so. I want us to install the CLI first, which I guess is okay. Let's see what else we've got to do while it's going. So, you do it, create a new site. I think I'm going to have to. Hopefully, I can create it within the directory of Marianne. I probably should have started outside of code. But that's okay, I think this will work. So, that's done. Okay, let's try this out now. Do grid some create and then dot. Just for this current folder. Hey, it's going. Okay, how about that? Oh, and look at that. It's populating. I like that. What does this look like? Is this going to be bad if I look at this? Load source create pages. So this is like I've used Gatsby before. So this is like Gatsby, where um, it's Gatsby's Node file. I should close this out before it freaks out. And then also, I'm gonna do. I want my data source to be an Airtable. So I'm gonna start with an Airtable. I'm just gonna. The thing I like about Airtable, it's very. Um, it's like a, it's just like a Google Doc. Max. Can we get this to not? There we go. Cool. Okay. So if we look at our Kanban, we've got uh, the first thing is we're going to do a titles table with these fields. I don't know why that's open. I guess they're going. Oh, it's done. Okay. Create some default to start local server. That's nice. So, let's name this guy. Titles. This will be where all of our movies go. Um, oh, the other part, the other part that's going to be fun about this is I'm going to use actual free legal movies from YouTube. So it'll be a legal streaming platform. That's free. Okay. So, name provider, and provider ID. Okay, so this one. Provider. So let's add a provider. Actually, I might use a notes field, but so we'll add a provider field here. So the provider is going to be a multi select field. So it's saying like YouTube or um, single select. Colored options, pad options, YouTube. And I feel like we can have some Vimeo videos on here as well. And that'll just be, be kind of the way the site identifies what kind of video it is and then provider ID is the context of like the YouTube ID or the Vimeo ID. It's kind of just a freeform text field. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Thumbnail. 
sci-fi do. Thumbnail will be, there's some ways to get the thumbnails without posting them on, on here. But I'm just gonna have a thumbnail deal that I can use uh, if I want to manually set a different fill for the rest. Where is, can I do, is there a damage field type? Or media? I don't want to do just a generic attacher, but I think I'm going to have to. Okay. Save like that. And then we've got site ID. Let's look at the identifier for the site. Um, I want this to be an auto generated. Auto number, there we go. How about that? Can I configure the auto number? Ah, this is good. This is fine. But I might, well, I might want the site ID to be. Well, it's a number I can convert. I want it. I want it to be alphanumeric, but I probably don't need it because I can. The only reason I need alphanumeric is if I'm going to put it in the URL, and that's what the title, the name, will be for. Um, can we make this the default field? I want to set it as like the main. I can, maybe I can only do that here. here. Nice field type. Loop. Oops. Auto number. Save. Cool. Okay, so let's let's change this to name. And that would just like that. Don't save. Let's take uh, let's change that. And now we can set to call this name. So that way it won't duplicate. Uh, single line text. Clear those out. And then we'll rename this site ID. So that's the identifier for our site on here. So, uh, okay, let's, let's plug in some bit, some some movies. So I have this list of free movies. Okay, here we go. Starting with the number one. YouTube. Do I have an extra, do I have a blank provider in there? What's going on with that? Doesn't look like it. Why did it, is that just, oh, because empty is an option. Okay, Kung Fury. Then we've got, oh, that's free to play, whoops. We don't have to enter in all of these. Let's get this one. Provider ID is that. Provider is YouTube. Can I customize? Let's customize the color of these. Let's make it more like this thing. Yeah, there we go. Vimeo. Vimeo is blue. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Attachments, thumbnail. I don't know that I need that. Like this here. I'm not going to use thumbnails just yet. That will be later on. Georgie's Abstruse. This movie is so good. Oh, it's not available. I must have changed it. Don't even write. I wonder. Yeah. 
it's not available anymore. Oh, okay, we need to check these other ones. Free to play. I'm assuming that one's that one looks like. Yeah. Okay, it's good. Kind Fury. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna need my computer. Um man, that's a really good one too. Okay. Here we go. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Is that one legal? Yeah. Okay, good. I uh, got it. Oh, I like that one so much. Oh, I lost my table. Dirt table. Whoops. There it is. There we go. Okay. Dirty. Oops. Oh, what? Um, Oops, drills. Riders YouTube. That's the idiot. Okay. World's fastest Indian. So these are all movies. There was like a list on Reddit that I found. Um, that had a bunch of these. It was like free movies sorted by Rotten Tomatoes reading. And so, the idea being, it's not terrible movies. It won't be the best, uh, but it should be at movies that are at least all right. Where do we go? Right there. Scoundrels. The fastest Indian was 5FK. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I think four titles are enough, are, are good enough for now. Okay. So, next up. I'm gonna have to take off Jiro. It makes me sad, but I can't use it if it's not available for free. Okay. So okay. We've got a grid some guy going. Where is our Umax repository? Oh no. There we go. That's what I want. Now my favorite tower client, my favorite Git client, Git tower, open. There we go. Oh, it's not, oh, I need to, it's not initialized. Okay. It helps that if it, if there's actually Git stuff there. There we go. Okay, now we want tower. Oh, let's go back over here. Let's make this smaller. This doesn't need to take up so much space. Okay. So that looks good. Doesn't look like there's anything bad in there. Stage all. Oh, I should run. Do they, do they need you to use NPM or a yarn or anything? Install no in yarn. Can I use NPM though? Can 
do some more conversion. Oh man, I don't want this. Uh, it's in their package for. Uh, Uh, I'm gonna use NPM until it breaks. We're installing. I guess I can set up my Namify part. Let's save this before we have it ready. Alright. So we're also going to deploy this with the Namify. Oops. My favorite static. Host, let me say from Git, GitHub, Max. Drive the enter. There we go. Because it should probably use M2 or disabled. Okay, I guess I need to put something in it. Okay, that finished. What is our. Oh, beautiful. We got a lock file now. Okay, we'll say. Initial commit. I wonder if I can. Okay, wrong added. Now we can publish this code to that branch. Oh, come on. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Now let's try this again. Look at that. Come on. Where, uh, I probably need to get it something. Let's just deploy it. It doesn't give me an option. Just type next to it. Yeah. Uh, I have to go back. I have to retry that. To redo that. Yeah. Is there. Yeah, it's pushed up. Okay. There we go. Like. Okay, so deploy in progress. Let's see if it's like Vercel where it um, picks up how the deployment works. Okay. The fan is running hot. I don't know why. Okay. Your site is deployed. I wonder where it deployed. Page not found. Probably because it didn't, it just deployed the code but didn't deploy, like, didn't give it any inputs. Okay. Um, let's go check out. Uh, Netlify. Speed. Oh, whoop, not get me. Great some. There we go. Build command, publish directory, dist. Okay, that's easy enough. What's no I wanna look up the note if I okay, let's let's set it the domain and it's our name. Okay. 
Okay, now we have our domain. We'll put this for the streaming description. set the build command in the directory. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is probably a lot, a bit much. I just need, just need a simple one. I'll find it in here. Ah, I don't want to do that. Uh, that's just that's just Tom all in general. Okay, let's. Oh my gosh. stuff up on its own. Uh, I don't need any redress from there. I'm not going to do context. Here we go. Okay, default build command. the dist folder. Okay. Relative of your root repo, root of your repo, contains the deployed ready HTML files. Okay. Looks good. So... See if it'll just watch it deploy. I think it's yeah. It looks like it's using Yarn by default. I, I, might, I might run into some trouble if I don't use Yarn, but I'll see how far I can get. Is live. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. About. Let's see. Um, oh, we got it. We got to get the pretty domain. Hey, yeah, I love that. Okay. Let's do a lighthouse test. Uh, I want to see what our score is. I wonder, 
did that deployment take? Perfect score, perfect performance, perfect accessibility. Kind of good best practices in SEO. Document doesn't have a meta description. Oh, well, let's add that to our list. This is the thing about, I love about Notion. Um, anytime I come across something, I'm like, oh, I need to do that later. I just pop it in and add an icon to it. We'll add something, yeah. Uh, I like that one, menu description. And we'll just bring that, I don't know, like down here. Or maybe down here. Oh, I can delete these. Delete. Uh, let's see. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Might need that. Okay, okay. good. That's good. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. That's, that probably needs to be an early thing. That's a text thought. That can be my first thing I do. Uh, there we go. Can I get it to go smaller now? No. This is, I guess this is going to be it. Okay. So. Let's. Uh, what's the next step? Create a view components and source pages. Okay. Source. So static. Source. Layouts, default components. Um, okay, this is G Link. What is G Link? I'm betting that's Grid Sim Link. I'm betting that's the like universal. Oh, and it's got, I forgot it had GraphQL. That's nice. Okay. Components will be imported into pages and layouts. Meta info about us. Oh, here's where I can add a. Well, that's for. Okay. So let's just add a footer to the layout. So let's start with Oh, we need it. We need to set up de a development. Uh, can I do npm run as a dev? Oop. Not N O N. There we go. There we go. All right, we're kicking. <sighs> Why did it come out over here? Okay, here we go. Yeah, like that. Um, okay, so we wanna, I'm gonna want teal in for this. Set up purge CSS and then set up. I did that tile table, that's done. First item did the first thing of many. Okay, so I think a table source. Let's get our, let's get this disclaimer added. Okay. Let's do a new component. Um, let's do, we're doing uppercase for the component name. So we'll do um, layout slash footer. Oops, fodder.
This is one of the nicer things about view, it's just template tag. And then maybe wrap it on a paragraph tag. Next. Here we go. Just to be safe, I. This is a parody. Just to cover. Hopefully, I mean, I doubt that'll cover everything a lawyer could figure out, but I'm trying. Just do my best. Okay. Um. That's the slot. So actually, I want to. Do these pages have a main element? No, I'm gonna add a main element. Where, uh, where is it? Is it main or article? I guess I guess it's up to the. I don't know. I'm not gonna overthink that. Okay. How do the paths work? Layout. Are these are these just global? How does that work? Dangerous. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so they, they are. But okay. Oh, and we get to use the the tilde syntax. I like that. Okay. So let's do original script text. So we'll that one. Import better from let's rename this folder layouts. To stay consistent, so component, or should we put should we put this into the layouts folder? No, nah, this will be fine. I can move it later if I need to. Components layout. Oops. Oh yeah, layouts, and then footer. There. Here we go. Now, let's see. Looks like we got a viewer. If you're watching, say hi. I don't know if that's the live count. Oh yeah, that is the live count. How about that? Um, export default, and then what is it? Components. I think so. It'll tell me. It'll whine at me if it's not components like that. Okay. Oop. I hate. I wish it. I wish I could disable the empty copy. That's one. That's one of those one, one thousand small things that I don't like about VS Code. It's still amazing. Um, but in a perfect world. I still love it though. It's like a love-hate relationship. Did we get it? Oh, it doesn't seem like it updated. Do have to reload it? What the heck? I didn't. It's not yelling at me. What the heck? Okay. 
Okay, let's 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 figure this out. Components. Um, fire. Oh. Pfft. Obviously, that won't work. Oh, and it's gonna. It doesn't like it when there's. Okay. When there's only there has to be one component at the top level. Same thing with React. Okay. Um. There we go. Do we get it? Oh, yes. Okay. Awesome. Let's make this um, small text. Like, like all legal text. Suppose I could just add a main. Oh, that was the thing I forgot. Um, footer. Gotta keep it accessible. Footer. Should I just. Uh, I think that makes sense for now. Putting that in the actual footer. Because that is, that does make it neat. Like a one component to wrap the whole thing. One, I mean, one tag. Okay. And then I'm going to do it. I'm going to wrap a slot into a main tag. And if we do a blog layout, I'll just create a new. I have to do article instead. I'll just article. I'll just create a new layout. Cool. Well, actually, it's going to be later on. It's going to be we're not going to have blogs. We're going to have titles. But I'll, I'll just figure that out later. Okay, how does that look? I like that. Okay, we need to get Tailwind installed. Let's let's commit this. At footer legal. So one thing I like to do is I don't say uh, instead of saying I added a component, I say I added the thing that was inside the component. That just makes a little more sense to me. It's like, it's like you go up. It's like saying, "I want to go outside," but you don't say, "I want to open the door and go outside." Like you're skipping. You're you're omitting something. And it may be good or bad. I don't know. In my head, it makes sense. Okay. Let's see. So we got. Disclaimer footer. How are we sounding on the audio? Okay. Let's see. So we got. That sounds alright. Okay. 47 minutes. Alright, that's done. That's done. And then Tailwind. Can I talk about Tailwind on here? Nope. I think I'm done with that. Let's let me just check that and just make sure. I wonder, I wonder how I'm doing. First of all, let's check our Perl. Okay, we got the legal footer. What are how are our Deploy 
times like 32 seconds. That's not bad. I'm sure it'll get, I'm sure it'll get up to a minute once I get into the project. They do have a build plugin for Gatsby that caches that can, that only rebuilds the pages instead of the full code. It's, I don't know exactly how it works, but okay, that's good for now. All right. Okay, we're good. We're working on Tailwind. Okay. I don't think they have any documentation. Is there anything else I need to do from this? Or install, grids and develop. Yeah, that all that'll, that'll looks good. Run NPM link. Tailwind. Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna need post CSS and per CSS, I guess. Uh, CSS, I guess. Support a global style. And is there this is oh here we go. Kayak on that customizable had tail CSS. Grid some tailwind plugin. Okay. Let's get it. This is another thing I like about VS Code. I have my development terminal and my commands terminal. Okay. Usage. Yeah, I know this. Um where are we gonna put this guy? Components, layouts, pages, templates. Get ready for this. This is gonna blow your mind. Styles. Breaking barriers. Breaking down walls here. Okay. Um, we'll just call this main.css. That's descriptive enough. Okay. I like how they do the, the background blur on this menu. That's neat. Love that. I love that they brought that into Chrome as well. So now you have that on Edge and Chrome and Safari. I don't know if it's on Firefox though. Officially, let's see. They were talking about adding in purge CSS, but I didn't think. I'm not seeing it. Oh, wait, fixed issue with purge enable email false. Improved built in purge extractor for better. Okay, so there is built in purge CSS. There it is. How about that? 16 days ago. Okay, I love that. Oh, it makes me so happy. Let's see how it works. Writing purgeable HTML. What? I want to see what's this purgeable HTML? Oh, does that mean it can read? Yeah, don't. Remove an 
CSS. There it is. I like that. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Tailwind and Telesense. Let's get that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. It's going to have its own. Let's just see. Does it pull environment variables as well? How am I going to do an environment here? I don't think I'll need it. I think I'm gonna need him just yet. Oh yeah, I will for the air table. Hmm. Okay. Is there a gridsome browser? That's the way it works in Gatsby. Well let's okay, what are we working on right now? We're gonna use here we go. Mm. Oh, it has to be an object. There we go. Use some tailwind. And then options are. Oh, looks good. Should purge, yeah. Should import. So it comes with purge. That's neat. Is this a tailwind template? Anything else? Yeah? How about that? I don't think I'm going to use it though. I want a dark layout. I want a dark thing. Okay. some things. Oh, it's already set. <coughs> hmm. uh, maybe index. There's a name. Is there a name in here? No. I need to add a favicon. 
We need to replace the Favicon. Okay, index. Is there a title? There's not a title. This will be. Well, we're not using that just yet. Yeah, we're kind of not done yet. Okay, I need to go back and see how do I use this thing? Use. CSS to install perch. Perch CSS. Perch CSS. Main CSS. Hey, I named it the same. Okay, and then. In the default layout, or in the main, uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So we'll say, does that have to be required? I want to try. It. Well, let's try inquire first, and then if that works, I'll do import because I feel like I'm supposed to do import. And that's gonna, that's not right for linting. I'm not supposed to do the requires above the imports. Come on, man. Oh, I need to, I need to try some tailwind. Okay, uh, nav link, so, uh, uh, let's just make the dark ground, the background dark. PG dark. Okay, I don't think so. I don't think it's working yet. Um, let's reset. Oh. Yeah. I need to set. You need to be less develop. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Okay, I need to close up. I need to clean up this stuff. Kill terminal. Kill terminal. I'm doing a new one right here. There we go. It's still not doing it. It's still not. Okay, let's 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 pause for a second. Let's go to the tailwind documentation. Oh no, I don't want that to be big. Okay. Um, background. Background color. BG. Oh, maybe there's not a BG dark. Let's just do gray nine hundred. I don't want it to be black. I just want it to be like an off dark. There we go. Okay, but it's not. Hmm. This is the default layout. So this is this is the topmost bill. Yeah. Okay. So I want this to be uh, full width. with what you want. I don't understand. Oh, layout. Oh, there's a... Yeah. Get rid of... Um, maybe we'll keep that, but not... Not this. Let's see, not that, not that. Yeah, get rid of those six, all that. There we go. Ah, uh, that's so much better, okay. So, 
Um, now, name. So I want. I like to set up my layouts to be. Okay. Like I do a container. Um. Or be full width. I mean. And I like to set my container at the page level. So let's do this. One of the things I love about Vue over React is I don't have to type in class name. Like it takes, I can just drop in normal HTML and as long as there's no JavaScript in it, it'll be like, yeah, that's fine. You're good. I love that. Vue.js is just um, it's clean, I, and I suspect Svelte is similar. It's just very chill. What about things like that? One thing I want to figure out later on is pulling in those Airtable images so I can transform them. So. I want, to I want it to download the image and then apply the cool Jamstack transforms on it. Like converting it into WebP, making all the image sizes, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I almost, I've almost figured out how to do that in Gatsby and I bet I could finish figuring it out in Gridsome. Okay, but we need to contain this, so container. Kind of looks good, and I want to do. Let's go back to default. I do flex. Oh, that's nice. And then there's a flex call. There we go. And then justify uh, center. Actually, I think some of these, I think some of these layouts are, full width. So I'm gonna be making full width things anyway. Yeah, all these are full width. So not, like there's elements that are contained, but they, they break out of their width. Like this one's contained on the left side, but it overflows over here. It's almost like it's it's contained. But they're letting they're doing overflow visible. Okay, cool. All right. One hour in. I'm kind. Of, I'm getting kind of hungry. Okay, let's take a look at our our, our patient. Uh, okay, so I don't think it was just for center. Maybe it was. Item center or content poop. Yep, item center. Lovely. Okay, and then we're going to do. Um, what is it? Min H screen. Getting into it, and we know. Uh, oops, this is so we're, the one we're doing right now. Is set up tailwind, and get the config. We got the main CSS. We got the styles. Oh, and I was gonna, I was gonna see if I could do a normal. Where's that main? Okay. Hold on to your butts. Import. Did that work? I think so. Let's, let's fully restart it just to make sure. But I think that worked. Uh, uh, 
I just love the look of that limb when it would require. Ooh, router. That's right, they have a router. Okay. Oh, and I didn't get to set the text color, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. Alright. Is there anything else I need to do on here? No, this looks good. Um, That's that guy's theme. I don't need that right now. I'm wondering. Um, okay, let's set up Tailwind. Uh, set default build command. doing right now is we're setting up uh, core layout or we don't have to use a fancy word we can just say basic layout instead of basic layout okay. I mean that looks pretty neat already okay <coughs> no there's only two it only says two viewers and I think both of those are me so right now, it's just me and whoever, and you watching this in the future. Just us alone together, watching, building a HBO Max um, type of site. But not HBO Max, because we don't steal. Um, but we do take what other people do and do it simpler and better. Um, and in our own way. Okay. That looks good. Let's set a body color next. I like to put my text colors and my body colors and my background colors next to each other. Um, we're going to do... Okay, what are the tailwind? Um, I want... Let's go gray 100. That later on. I almost want something that I just a shade darker. Let's try 200. should go should make it look a little bit like it looks like they're using just straight white uh, I feel like that's harsh I can add I can make it darker later on let's just go straight white for now and we'll make and we'll I want to make it like them but not like them okay uh, I need to set my container width to less maybe Okay. That is very wide text width. Let's 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 make some things done. Move 
to finish them. So we set up Tailwind. We need to set up Air Table Source. Yeah, I like that. So I like switching over to that. So. this music CSS we already figured that out um oh, I gotta figure out the herb CSS thing is this let's check on the Netlify site um what the heck what am I thinking Emacs here we go Yeah, I'd say that's a basic layout. Here's the top 10 most watched, according to Netflix. Oh, it's only using Node 10. Can I use Node 12? Is that going to break anything? What am I using on here? make a node version manager file. Let's see if it'll honor it. Set node version. Oops. Okay. Site is live. I like using node 12 because it's version. I think it's I think it's not purging anything. Yeah. Does it even mention purging? So it is not purging styles because no template passes have been provided if you have many figure outside tailwind or to deliver it now. Is that purge false? Okay, let's How does it purge CSS file? Oh, well, I guess that's it. I think that's all. Well, I'll do that one too. I don't, I don't think I'm using any of these other ones. I might be using some HTML. So I'll just put that in for fun. JSX. Um, hopefully, I'm not. Mm, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna be. Oh, I have to do it with a skin configuration. Mm, Bulma. Good old Bulma. Is there, how much documentation is there on their purge? Color built in purchase is perform. Support. Okay. Thomas purge is an option to treat it. Content. 
Oh, there we go. So now I can take this configuration. I don't know what extractors are, but I guess we'll drop it in and see if it'll take it. because this is an array. Well, looks like we're going to have to start our dev tools anyway. Oh, God, you are awesome. I'm the most popular streamer. Can't wait for my Twitch partnership. This is going to be exciting. Me and my viewer. How you doing, buddy? I apologize if you comment and I don't respond for five minutes. Um, I haven't exactly got it set up. I'm not even sure if it'll make a sound if somebody comments, so we'll just see. Okay. Um, it looks like it's, it's going. I think I'm good. Does this look good? Ah, shoot. Okay, let's let's commit this. Uh, configure. Uh, purchases. Let's watch this deploy. Let's see if it got no 12 as well. I hope I got no 12. Oh wait, that's not my. There we go. Okay. Why is it using PHP? I guess it always includes PHP. Yarn, or did it already? Oh, it did use Node 12. Nice. That's lovely. I love that. I deserve a treat. Okay. See if our purge works. Okay. Preview. Hello, world. I need to change that title. Uh, I mean, it's laying out. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Let's see, uh, Let's see what our lighthouse score is. Clip. Actually, I think it's still loaded in from the last test. Here we go. Run a new light. No way it finished that fast. SEO 88. What did I do? 
Document does not have a meta description. Tap targets not sized appropriately. What in tarnation? Whoa, why is that? I think that's view. I think view always has a it's just real hard to get that first input delay in a good place. Targets are not sized appropriately. That's our nav links. So let's fix that. Let's just add um, like P3 padding. Let's see how that works. Oh, did it go? What? That's not. That's not any padding. It's gone. P3. Should work. Is something wrong with my purge? Um, what? I'm confused. Why is that not getting petted? Is it something with this? It's, yeah, it's reading dot view. Otherwise it wouldn't be. Themes, synth. Oh, that's weird. This is adapted to see. So if we turn it off completely, then we get it back. So there's something in here that's not configured right. Well, it's good to know that we know that now. So let's get rid of this extractor thing and see if that fixes it. Sure. It 
that might just be it. I don't know what this thing is. Is it just working now? <laughs> what? Maybe, okay, maybe the whole problem is I forgot to reset my dev tools. Okay, there it is. Restart again. Yeah, it's working good now. Okay. Well, it works now. I guess I just needed to restart my dev tools. That was all from. <laughs> okay. I do need to add a font. I'm gonna use one of those fancy variable fonts. Okay, let's add some um, offset to that menu. Um, minus M X three. That should line it up with that Emax. Or not. Oh, no, it's because it's getting. What? Now that's weird. What now? Is it? I have to restart my dev tools every time I use a new class. Maybe I should have built this in Gatsby. Okay. All right. Um, add. If I need to put the purge CSS config into the grid, grid some plugin, that might be a purge config. If I, I wonder if I just have no choice. That's the way it's expecting to work, not and the uh, per, that per CSS uh, with Tailwind is only 16 days old. I doubt I doubt they've had time to build that in yet. Okay, let's try another new class and see what happens. So we'll do my I don't know 32. Research the dev tools, I bet it's gonna work. Okay. 
So we're going to 24. Yeah, it's pulling it. Let's just try a few more other things before we commit that. I'm betting that that was the problem, though. <laughs> I wonder if I might have... So, I have had two node 12 deploys. I think. Yeah, one more. Um, three of them. Uh, it doesn't look like it went down by much. It's hard to tell. Where's this I added in? But I think it's faster. I know there's some kind of speed difference. Oh, yeah, that was for those tap targets. So, how does our. How does our site fare now? Hmm. Almost spilled my orange juice. Not bad. I'm getting better. Okay. Let's close that down. Um, let's just take it out completely. I want to do it, but I don't think it's ready yet. Don't do that. Here we go. There's a sad dark room. some source error table. So this is going to be tricky. I have to set it up without showing the environment variable. Um, let's, okay. Base ID, API key. Table name. Type name? What is that? Do I have anything to commit? No, no, I'm not going to do that. Table. Okay. I need my account API key. So I could set up the environmental variable first. Get these in my 
super secret screen that you guys can't see. Um, not that I don't trust you, but I don't trust the internet. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, I guess you guys have already been able to see the base ID. Can, did I already show that? Uh, maybe not. Okay. I suppose I could open up another code instance on my secret window. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. Okay. Okay, that is first plugin. plugin is going to be Airtable. Oh, I do need it. I, I guess it's not as smart as it to be yet. I do need to do a restart. Please. Um, okay. So I've got those that head table. I just need to your table.com and account API. Let's see. Come on. Here we go. This will just be what's the tip name? Is this is this the table or is this the table? I guess titles. Let me try it. Let me try that out. Type name. What is type name? Your chosen type name. Full name of the chosen workspace table. Oh, okay. So, Emax. And then this will be titles. Can I get more than one?
super white. There we go. That's good. You can tell it's all along the way because I just I just saw that. Okay. Let's just, maybe I can, can I get my docker over here, maybe? So it just gets it. Cool. <laughs> oh, and you just have to say grid sum if you want it in the browser. I think SB does the same thing. Like this one. Table. 
base. What is it? Is it base first or is it API first? API key base ID. Alright, let's make this simple. I'm just going to drop this over here, guys. Work on it and put in some secret things. Just uh, typing in secret things. Sorry for the uh, lack of coding on screen. Okay. Nope. Right. Then I'm going to close that. And now I can bring it back over. There. How about that? Nice and clean. Okay. So let's sh shut this off and turn it back on again. Ah, oh, come on. What's what do you want? Source data table. Oh, I, I, did I install it? Oh no! <laughs> stop! No, stop! Stop! Don't do that. There we go. Yeah, it works better when you um, actually have it installed. This is the name of the table. What's the type? Grid view? Oh. Okay. Okay, let me. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Let me change this environmental variable. Okay, so I, I think I got that backwards. Titles. And then. example of a fitting route for the predefined air table workspace name. That's the field, maybe? Let's, okay, wait, hold on. Is this the type? I mean, I guess I could try it. We'll just say name. Okay, we'll close this out so we can get to see the code again. Oh, it doesn't. 
Can you show it to me? Oh, come on. How do I know what the time? Uh... Okay, let's let's look this up. This isn't doing it for me. So, um, hmm. explore. Help search this queue. Oh, there it is. I can one of this, but maybe, I don't know, maybe this would be better. Uh, oh man. Your table anywhere in here. That's good. Okay. What is, does it tell me what the graph cable? How do I know? 